Hi everyone, it's Helen here. And this is the first in a series of videos that I will be doing for the slightly older, maybe slightly more frail exerciser. We would love that everybody was able to come to a class, but we know that that's not necessarily always going to be the case. And we know that sometimes confidence has a, a, a part to play in that. Um, mobility, um, loneliness can have a part to play in all of this, where perhaps people don't go out as often as they might, um, and perhaps people don't feel as confident to join a class as they age. And it's really important that we approach ageing with a healthy attitude so that we want to consider our ageing to be healthy. We want to be strong and independent and upright and mobile and in our own homes um, for as long as possible. So these videos are designed to just build a little bit of everyday strength, a little bit of specific strength to challenge coordination and balance to hopefully, hopefully make you or perhaps somebody within your circle who's a little older, a little frail, a little less able, a bit more confident about doing some activity. So this first one is our get up. All right. So you can see I'm sat on my bench. You could equally just be sat on a dining chair. All right? And all I'm going to do without using my hands is sit nice and tall and I'm going to bum shuffle forward. So I'm just going to scoot buttock by buttock forward until I'm on the forward third of my chair. And then I've got my feet directly beneath me. I've got my heels slightly behind my knees, but only very slightly. I'm going to lean forward just a little bit from my hips, so I'm not going to round, I'm just going to lean forward. I'm going to push into my feet and stand up. But when I get to the top of the movement, I'm just going to do a little walk on the spot. And that little walk is going to take me backwards until the edge of my chair touches my calves. I'm going to press back from my hips. I'm going to sit myself back down, make sure I'm safe. So make sure when you sit back, you sit quite far back on the chair and then bum shuffle forward again. So I'm just going to bum shuffle forward. So I'm on the first third of my chair, my heels slightly behind my knees, but again, not a lot. You definitely want your heels down. I'm going to hinge forward at my hips, keeping my spine nice and long. So I'm not going to round into this. I'm going to push down firmly into my feet. And as I breathe out, I'm going to stand up and immediately I'm just going to do a little walk on the spot. And that just gets the circulation going if you've been walking, uh, sitting for a while. I'm going to walk it backwards until I feel the chair against my calves. I'm going to push my bottom back. I'm going to sit down so I'm firmly in the middle to the back portion of the chair. And then I'm going to bum shuffle again. So this is all we need to do. We just bum shuffle forward, make sure our feet are firmly placed hinge slightly forward, press firmly down, stand up, little walk on the spot, walk it back, and then again, sit down. Okay, now if for any reason you can't get up without using your hands, well that's absolutely fine. So you would bum shuffle forward in the same manner, and either use the hands on the chair, or hands onto your thighs to stand up, and then little pedal walk, walk it back and sit back down again. And we would like to think that over a period of time, if you did that consistently, you might get to a point where you didn't need to use the hands or the arms of the chair. That's what we're aiming for. We're aiming for an unassisted stand up. And we want to stand up, we want to find that bit of balance, we want to make sure our circulation is going, which is why we just walk both feet. And then we walk it backwards and we take a seat. So do those a few times a day and see how you get on with it. And again, if this isn't for you, but it might be useful to somebody within your wider circle, your family or your friends, then you can see perhaps needs just a little bit of more gentle um, targeted exercise. Then show them this. Any questions at all, please just give me a shout. I'll speak to you soon.